So we're going to talk about the Siggy Forge swords. No, they're not. They're Siggy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Siggy Forge. Siggy Forge. <laughs> They're a relatively new sword company that came out uh, in the last year or so, and I think there are some, some really cool things about it. There's not very many people who have them because they're relatively new, so we just want to give our first impressions of this. We have these swords for about a few weeks. We haven't really got to use them that much because of the lockdowns and, and not being able to have classes, but we got to swing them around a little, and we're going to give you some of our first impressions on them. Yeah, so I mean, you know, we heard about the Siggy Forge swords. We got to try them out in Minsk when we were hanging out with Martin there. Um, and I think we were impressed enough to make a group order. And uh, we had some excitement on the way getting our order. This was kind of an exciting package to get because we were waiting longer than expected. Could you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, uh, we were supposed to get the package uh, at the beginning of the month and it didn't show up. And it turned out the post office sent it to the wrong address and those people just wouldn't give it back to us. Uh, Martin basically checked up on us every day to make sure that things were going okay and he wanted to reassure us that the swords were insured and you know, if things didn't work out that he would take care of us. They got very solid customer service and they do not let a single problem go by without following up. No complaints there. So let's talk a little bit about the swords themselves. Yeah. So we got a variety of the swords because our club went in on a group order and different people want to try out different models. You can see in front of us here the uh, shorty, got the arming sword and buckler combo down in front of that and back behind Mr. Ng here, a variety of different uh, options. Uh, what was this one called? So this one is the concept, uh, one, the one with the bullet and power shield. These over here are the shorties and these two over here are the, the standards. Uh, this one has a ring hilt. So let's talk about the quality of the swords in general. Um, we haven't got to fight with them, I think, as much as we want to yet because of uh, the quarantines and lockdowns. Uh, but overall, just the, the initial impressions of them is that they're very lively across the board. Uh, they handle in a, in a lighter, more easily, kind of controllable fashion. Uh, yeah, I think that's true. I, th I think the, the shorters are exceptionally, feels very lively and very light. And even their normal sized ones, uh, are feel great and they don't feel that clunky. It feels very uh, familiar to like how I used to have my Regenye. The concept is actually uh, a lot beefier than I expected. You can see the difference of length of the two swords here and why Jonathan feels that you know the shorties are just a little lighter, a little more lively. There's a significant overall difference between the two points. One of the cool things is that the swords, they all act very differently. And based on your preferences, there is, I feel like, a sword that can fit for you. Uh, one of the other cool customizable things is like the pommels. Yeah, the fittings are nice and they're customizable. The, the second sword on the end there has an S-shaped key on. You can see it's got a, a gentle curve to the key on, so it's very nice. You have a, a high level of customization. So when we got these, my first impressions were that they felt nice, they looked nice. Uh, we've got to do a little bit of sparring now. The blades have held up well. Uh, I'm fairly impressed with the flexibility of them. They've got a very comfortable amount of flex to them. They, of course, come back true each time. Uh, the only, say, downsides I've had with them so far are two small issues. Uh, one, the grind lines that are just accents, really, on the hilt. Um, they seem to have multiple plunges. They have inconsistencies in these grinds here. And same with wherever there are faceted pommel lines. You can see some uh, wavering. They're not nice and straight and true. Another thing I notice is like the kind of inconsistency of their stamps. Some of, some of them are kind of like off-centered or kind of half-faded, like they didn't yeah. stamp all the way. Their maker's uh, marks are not yeah. always uh, deep and beautiful like they could be. And uh, I think your sword particularly has a, a die issue where it was staining your hands. Yeah, so my sword, I think it's more of a, a side effect of the strong, deep, natural dye that they have, but again, I talked to Martin, he said it's not a big deal, you can kind of get it to go away really quickly, yeah. um, but just something that you could be aware of. Yeah, but and it was out of all the stores that we have, only yours for some reason had that problem, so it might just be that color as well. Um, but like I said, all, all the issues that we have right now are only uh, small aesthetic issues. Yeah. Nothing functional. So in the future, we do plan to have 
a more comprehensive review where we go into all the aspects of durability and safety and, and cost efficiency and stuff like that. But for now, uh, I think these swords I would highly recommend to other people. Yeah, I think I would highly recommend these swords to anyone looking for a, a new training sword to either try out or use for their, their new tournament sword, as it were. Like, for cost-wise, I think this is probably one of the best bangs for your bucks. Bangs for your bucks. Bangs for your bucks. Bang for your buck. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a, an extremely good value. Um, the price, like I said, this is a low price for a high quality sword. So, yeah, this is our first uh, products review. We uh, like to know what you guys think about it. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can always subscribe and comment below. Yes. Please subscribe. Please subscribe to Martin Fabian's channel. We're putting out videos beyond just sword reviews, things like that. Please watch our channel. We're going to have videos every week. Well, hello there. Hi, what am I doing here?